Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be putting together this cake topper. Right now it's just on the mat, and in fact, oh good. I just realized I lost the little star, or the little heart on the, on the J, it's still here. <laughs> so you can see nothing is down. It's just kind of, I pieced it together just to make sure we had all our pieces. Um, so I um, will be putting this together. We're doing a, a fun thing. I haven't done it in a while, so you're gonna have to bear with me as we kind of piece it together. Um, it's going to be a little shaker. So it's an hourglass, it's gonna spin, and the inside will be these little blue, um, I don't know, confetti-ish type stuff, and it's gonna be able to move up and down. So it's going to mimic that hourglass. So this is a lot of fun, this project right here, but it's always, um, I don't design it in design space to be exact because I feel like once we put this together, we need to know like what's gonna spin and will it hit anything. So anyway, that's on the fly. In the meantime, right now, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. And that way you get notification of when my videos will pop out. I will try to have a more established schedule. We were doing every day, um, and then now we're down to about three times a week. So I will, we're still figuring it out. I don't know, I'm still taking requests and all that good stuff. So anyway, get your notifications. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is, here are all my essentials for the project. I have my glue gun. Um, I'm gonna use Barely Art glue today. I'm gonna try this out to attach the perler bead, and that's what's gonna allow this spinner to spin. Uh, we have our perler beads, which you can get at Michael's. They're super cheap. It's in the kids' crafting section. So it's just these little these little beads right here so that we can put the um, paper, the cardstock on it, and it will, you know, twist. All right, so, oh, so that's Barely Art Glue. I also like my double-sided tape from Tombow, and then in case we need it, my X-Acto knife from Excel. Super sharp, which is why it's made it here. So, you know, I like my tools. Okay, let's add foam tape to everything and get that layering going. So, I used, so this is from Mommy Lay. Um, she is so cute. She designs the cutest little stickers and stuff like that. So this is from her Alice in Wonderland, Alice inspired kit. Um, I use needle label stickers. So you can see how glossy it is. It looks in person, I know I have the glare of the lights, but in person, these look like stickers that I bought at Michael's. I mean, I really, it's the design, so Mommy Lay like, is amazing, but also the stickers and the right settings. So I will talk about that in the design space tutorial, but I'm a huge fan of Needle products because um, until I started using their stuff, I thought my printer was just, you know, whatever, it was okay, but it wasn't a printer issue, it was really a supply issue. So here you go. I always like to, with my stickers, I like to create a backing for it so that it is on here and it's stiff and it can you know, stay on the cake topper. So here is my sticker. Let's take this out and put her on. I mean, look at that. She is so stinking cute and the colors and everything. All right, so I did an offset on this. So you just wanna, you know, kind of line it up. It's not the most perfect thing, but there you go. So cute. I have it on glitter cardstock, so I know it's a little bit hard to see. What you'll wanna do is, if you follow me on Instagram, you will always get more pictures. It's easier to see on there. Um, okay, so we've got our sticker paper down. Let's layer things like the number four. So I kept this super simple. Like the colors are, you know, white and um, pretty much white, gold and blue. You know, I kind of went gold with her to match her hair and then the light blue to match her dress. Um, so when you keep it really simple, what you want to do is you do want to mix up your paper. So I have like a gold foil paper from 12 by 12 cardstock. I absolutely love it. And you'll see that that goes with my hourglass as well and the outline of Jasmine. So I try to incorporate it in a couple places so it doesn't seem so odd. And then, um, you know, to keep the theme really cohesive. All right, 
Here are my foam stickers or tape. Um, I get this from the Dollar Tree. So you just wanna line this up so that your, the four, for instance, is balanced, right? Like if you have the three, then it's gonna stay propped up. Now, um, going back to the papers, because we're you know keeping it really simple with my white paper, I did white glitter cardstock. So you can see that here. And then I did the outline. You can barely see it. In person, you'll be able to see the details, but in person, it's still so faint. But once you catch it, you just kind of, I don't know, it just gives it like an extra oomph. But the white paper has the dots on it. It's the Swiss dots. I believe it's the basil paper. Absolutely love it. Okay, so here's my four and I put it down and I'm just pushing it. Anything that is um, like a sticker adhesive, you wanna make sure it's also called pressure vinyl. I don't know if you guys knew that. I had never heard the term, but basically when you're applying the pressure, it anchors all of the sticky adhesiveness onto your blank. So in this case, it's the cardstock, right? So you really wanna activate that adhesive and that's what I'm doing. I'm, and I learned that from experts. <laughs> that is just not me coming up with stuff. All right, so I'm gonna put it on the back of this four as well. Now on the back of this four, we're not gonna take off the tape just yet because I don't know exactly where it's going, but I'm gonna to wanna to put a little bit of my hot glue gun onto here because, oops, I just realized, okay. Um, because it's going on the glitter cardstock, I wanna make sure that it really stays on. Okay, so our four is done. So let's continue with this. Um, look at these cards. These cards are so stinking cute. So in design space, it's just this, but you duplicate it and you contour and you contour everything out. So then you have this in the back. So that way it gives you the red glitter, but you know we don't have to cut out small diamonds and try to place it and stuff. This is so much easier, right? The other thing that I like about this is because it's a thicker piece, then you can also give a little bit of depth to this thing by adding the foam tape and giving it some layers and everything stacked um, on top of each other. It's really, really um, important and it makes such a difference to add the layers so that you don't have just a flat cake topper, unless that's what you're going for. Uh, and it's totally, um, you know, I see this all the time. It's personal preference, but I definitely have a preference and I like my layered look. <laughs> so here is that. I should have put some glue. So I'm just gonna prop this open a little bit and put some glue in to make sure that my card stays down. And it doesn't need to be a lot, right? Because I'm applying the pressure. So you can see it gives it a little bit of layers right there. And we're gonna also put it on the back. I cannot wait to do this hourglass. Um, I haven't done a shaker in a while, so I wanna try that out. And this is, usually I do a shaker and it's just like one big circle or something. Um, so this time we're actually doing something that makes sense, the hourglass, right? And then there's gonna be um, the beads inside. Oops, I shouldn't have taken this out because we don't know where it's going yet. Right now we're just layering. Now, when I'm doing the jasmine, this is super delicate, um, but it's low maintenance to cut, you know, because if you follow me, then you can probably already guess. This is a Creative Fabrica font. It's my favorite font. It is Hanaberry Koo, and I am just getting scratch paper. Here we go. For this, because it's so thin in certain areas, I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna use my Tombow adhesive. Oh, is this out? What just, oh, I have it upside down. So here's the thing, even I know that. <laughs> the little cap here, when you push it down, this is facing the bottom, okay? And I know that, and yet I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, so when you are applying this, the only thing I don't like about this um, adhesive is it has like, I call it the spider web. It's like webbing. So it will attach itself to certain areas 
And what you want to do is you just want to pop it like in between the loops of the Y and stuff. You want to pop it before you put it down because it's easier to clean up your webbing now than it is once it's on your paper. And especially because we're putting on the gold paper. The gold foil will show everything. So you do want to make it clean before you put it down. Okay, so here we go. It's so pretty. All right, so we have that down. Where did my little heart go? Oh man. All right, I hope it pops up again. Cause we, I had just found it. Where is it? It's the little heart that goes over my J. All right, that's a little bummer. I had it, I found it and then it's gone again. What? Okay, I will put it aside. Let's get this on foam tape. All right, I seriously cannot believe I just lost it right now. <laughs> All right, let's put foam tape on, on the name and make sure, oops, make sure it's balanced. So I'm gonna put it in three spots at the sides in the middle and then we should have that, okay. All right, so this has its little thing ready to go. Let's do the rest of these cards. I mean, look at these cards, they're so cute. I'm gonna pull this off. And let's put it on the other side. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. We'll just put that aside for now. Let's do this one. Now I did a whole theme on this so you can see my off the mat teacups and what else did we do? A big teapot and then also of course Alice at 30 inches. Now the little uh, little white dot that goes in the middle of the A, it was so teeny tiny that I didn't save it. It was gonna be too much work and honestly you don't need it. This is clearly the ace of hearts. All right, so I'm gonna put this here. Let's do the last card and then we'll start building this thing. All right, and a little bit of glue because I am worried about it sticking to the glitter cardstock. All right, so our cards are done. Let's look at these ears. I mean, so I did use the white dots on the ears and then the pink paper is just a pale pink paper. It's just so pretty. All right. Now this little guy, I'm just gonna put it straight on just to give it um, stability. It goes right on here. The glitter cardstock over here was connected and that's why this is in two pieces. So um, in case you're wondering, there's no, I didn't notice that it didn't connect while I was designing in design space. So that's what happened there. All right, so I'm just gonna put it down like that. And this one just goes where it is. So I'm gonna put it down. Um, let's put some foam tape on it. And we'll put the foam tape on just the big ear part. 
I don't know if you can see that, but on here you'll be able to see. This part is too thin to deal with, so we're just going to put foam tape and put it on. All right, let's put this guy on. So this is an offset, so it's white on white. I mean, I love it. So it's white glitter cardstock on the white Swiss dots uh, paper. And so it's just like the extra detail. Um, so on this one, I'm definitely going to put, um, I'm gonna use different foam tape. I'm gonna use the thicker one, sorry, so that we're not dealing with a bunch of different dots and I'm just going to cut it like this. So you can get this, this roll of um, tape is from Amazon. So it'll be on my Amazon shop. See that will just give you, it's not as thick as the foam tape here. So you can see it's just a little bit thinner, but it's okay to have you know, different sizes so things pop out differently. Um, it's all about just the different details that you get. It really does make a difference. So I'm gonna put it here and then one more right here. And I love the offset feature now that it's an available in Design Space. Okay, let's look at this little banner from Design Space. I absolutely love it because it's one big piece on the bottom and then you just put this little layer on top and voila, you get a banner. <laughs> so on this one, I am going to just use the Tombow because it's kind of thin. this aside and on this one I do see a little bit of the webbing so I just want to get that before it goes down and it's not that big of it just depends on the paper like the other one with the gold foil you were gonna see everything on this one because it's going on the white you're not gonna see it as much so Putting it down, perfect. Well, oh, it popped up. Okay, here we go. So pretty. All right, on this one, of course, we're going to add a little bit of height to it as well. I'm gonna use just this one. And then the name goes on top, which I cannot, I still cannot believe my heart did not. I want to find this stinking heart. It's un unbelievable. All right, it's not here. Um, <laughs> on this one, we're going to, it's already on the foam tape. So we're just going to peel off the foam tape and then put the name down. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the foam tape is peeling off all those stickers. Okay, so here's the name Jasmine. I'm gonna put it down. Oops, you know what? I do wanna put just a little bit of glue. Okay, and I'm gonna lift this up so that you can kinda see. See, it's just a little bit so it's not flat. Um, in person, you can really see this pop up. 
All right, so we have that down. Let's put down this ear over here. And same thing with this ear. We're gonna put foam tape. All right, so that's down. Let's get this little pink. Um, no, it goes on this side. So this pink, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down. I'm gonna lift this up because there's a little bit of a hole. So this was totally my fault in how I designed this. <laughs> I didn't notice the little holes, I would have just you could have just contoured it out so you can kind of see in the back it comes through and so there's a little bit of glue right there so let me oh and it's already dry okay let's put this side down It's so cute, look at that. Okay, <laughs> um, all right, so next thing that we're gonna put down, I think the four is gonna go on top, so the cards are gonna go down next. And oops, I want the name to go, let's see, so do something like, Oh no, we don't want that. We want to see the red. So. So you can see like even though this was designed in design space and I did the outline of it, it's still sort of like open for interpretation as to where you put things down. Originally I had these stacked differently but I wanted to show more of the cards so I'm displaying it out like this and then the four is going to go on top like this. So all right, I think I like the way this looks. So this is the way it's going to go down. Let's take this out. Oh, this one's already down, okay. This one, we need to put foam tape on, okay. So let's put foam tape on these and then glue them down. This one, we're gonna put foam tape up here so it pops up a little bit over here. So let's do that. So it's gonna pop up. So on this side, maybe we'll put double the foam tape so that it um, has a place to anchor down. And then So you see it's, um, there's still room for us to play around with where to place things. And then we still have our hourglass over here. So let's look at this. This is gonna go something like this. And then once it's down, I'm gonna lift this up and you can see like, there's just so much like added depth here. All right, so I'm going to 
stick my glue gun in here just to make sure that this stays. All right, there we go. So it's not going anywhere. And then we have one more. Oops, are we putting, we can even make this one super high. So like, see how it's coming out? And then that way we can put this Alice. We can even put, we can make it really high like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks good because then her foot's not going into the floor. It's being covered by the floor, but do all right so let's put her down she's good there so let's see oh got a little bit of glue on her which is okay all right let's get I'm going to put her in first and then oh, maybe I'll do something like that. Okay, I like that. This one just sticks in there. So I'm going to glue it in so it doesn't move. Okay. Just squeezing everything in so it stays put. All right, so she's down. Let's get her glued in really well. Okay. All right, so she's glued in. All right, so we just have our four and our four. Let's get it to pop up a little bit. So let's do double double layer of the foam tape so it really pops up now I have all this glue on me now all right let's see So on this four, I'm going to make sure it really stays. I'm gluing the two dots together and also making sure that there's enough glue on there. Okay. Okay, love it. All right, so now on here, what I need to do is we need to punch a hole. We need to punch a hole right in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now with just a regular paper puncher. Where is my stuff? Okay. So let's get that in here and see what that looks like. And I'm gonna make it a little bit big. Okay, so what's gonna happen is basically we're gonna have this little perler bead right here. You see how it goes in there? And we're gonna have a piece of paper. Okay, I'll just use this scratch paper. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down like this so that this goes back here 
and then we can spin it on here, okay? So let's glue this down first. I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue. Let's stick this on top. Okay, we'll let that dry for a second. And let's build this guy right now. So this is a hot mess right now because I was trying to see if I like, if this will show up, these little confetti pieces. I'm gonna just dump it out. So to build your shaker, what you need is you need a backing. It can be clear, but I just thought the white backing would be good to showcase the blue. So what you need to do is you need to have that down And then you need to glue your foam on top, right? So it's gonna go like that. Once we get this foam piece good, and this is double foam, so you can see right here, it's kind of thick. We're gonna pour the confetti in, and then we're gonna seal it with this acetate paper. This is actually not acetate paper. It's, um, it's a sheet protector from Avery. It's so much cheaper than acetate paper. It cuts on the Cricut, it works well, that's what I use. So, and because it's a sheet protector, it doesn't get um, scratched easily, which I've seen acetate paper do. So, all right, with this, now that we're ready for this, all we're gonna do is let's glue this down. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna get this paper here, okay. And I'm gonna put my tape down. And I'm gonna get it really good because this is what's gonna seal it in. Now we are using, we're not using glitter paper or glitter, so this is not gonna fall out. So it's, you know, you wanna get a good seal, but it's not, it's not vital because that's not gonna come out. Okay, so now we're putting down our foam. Then we're gonna do this layer here. to get another layer of foam on top. Oh, I have it backwards. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's on. We've got a good seal. Now we're gonna put all our confetti in there. And I already got this on my desk, so give me a second. I'm gonna put more in. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree, it's the confetti. So let me get my little scooper out. Oh, where is all my stuff? I know, it's been, here we go. I'm gonna get this little scooper out. All right, so I put in a lot. I don't know if that's too much. Okay, I think that's okay. Then on this one, I'm just gonna put glue. Do I put glue down? I'm gonna put glue down. So, I'm gonna put the top layer of the acetate on top so that the, you know, our confetti doesn't come out. So here's our topmost layer. I'm gonna put it down. Whoa. Okay, and then this is gonna go on top, and this will cover all our imperfections. And then you can see, let's see if this, yeah. So it does spin, or it does move which is what we want. Okay, all right, so let's get this down. On this one, I'm just gonna do this real quick. So let's get this here. get that yay all 
love it. Okay, so it's totally in. All right, so now we have it here. We're gonna have it like this. This is gonna go underneath with the perler bead over here. We need to glue it to this thing, right? And then this thing will then be able to spin. Now, we may need to build it taller because it might hit the cards. So, yeah, it's gonna hit the cards. So we're gonna make, we're gonna need to build this higher which this is still moving a little bit. Okay. Um, let's get this guy on. Okay, so that's going to sit on here, which will make it super high. All right, so let's see if this works. Oh, it's not drying. You know what? The glue didn't work. So let's put, let's do the other glue. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get another piece. Of, oh, here we go. I'm going to use this one this time. Okay, so let's do this. Put glue down. Let that dry. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So you see we kind of like built a little tower and then this is gonna sit on top so that this will spin in here. And we gotta wait for this to dry because if we put it in here, then this glue will get stuck to here and it won't let it spin, right? So we just wanna double check. Okay, it's hard. All right, so let's see if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, that's high enough. Okay, so now we need to make sure, you see I'm spinning this. All right, so that works. Almost wondering if we should make this just a little bit bigger. So that's good. Let's stick this back in. Okay, so now let's get this on top of here. So now we're gonna put a little bit of glue on top of here. We don't want this to leak at all. And just hold your hand on it to, for it to dry. It won't take that long. Okay, oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good. Oh, you see. Look, okay, let's see. I want it to dry before we start spinning. So we'll keep that there for a second. In the meantime, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna clear this out. We're gonna put the stick on. The other thing that I wanna do is I wanna add, oops. I want to add these pretty little flowers to give it a little bit more color, like just the pale pink. So I'm going to put a little bit like right here. And right here. And then maybe a little bit in this corner. And then I wanted to put it also on the hourglass. There, okay, let me get the stick and then we are in business. All right. So with the stick, the way I like to do it is, and let me show you now, I think this is pretty good. So, oops. 
I know it's hard to show because it needs to be standing up. So let me put the the other the stick down first. All right, so when you flip this over, we kind of know that this line is straight. So when you flip it over, kind of line it up, you know, along your grid, and then this grid, this dowel will go down one of these lines, so you're gonna have a straight stick. Okay. And that should be good. So we'll flip it over in a second. Here is our little piece to twirl it. And okay. So this little guy is going to spin. I need to get this up a little bit more. How do I get this to stay up? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a piece of paper that lays flat. So this keeps it flat against this thing, but it will still spin. Because see how this spins like this? That's what I want it to do. So I'm missing a little component here. Let's think about this. So I'm going to put, I know we're building on the fly. Um, let me see, let's get scratch paper. And, sorry, I'm looking for paper. See, if we keep this down, it'll be good. Um, let's see, all right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it in white though, so give me a second. I know, we're like engineering on the fly. So let's do this. I wanna make a piece of paper that won't, okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner here, like that, okay? And then this, I'm gonna glue down at the edges so it won't interfere with my spinner. So I'm gluing at the edges, okay? I think this is gonna work. Just so that it keeps this thing from pushing back up. So this will keep it propped up, I think. Okay, yes, so see now this doesn't move back and forth, now it just spins. Yay, we did it. All right, so here's a cute little topper. I love it, and it spins. So let's show you how it spins. So it spins, and then the confetti paper comes down. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you think. This was, this was fun. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.